Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 17B in the Lewis series, where we're going to be covering auto balance with round systems. So last time we made this deathmatch round system, so this is actually perfect for deathmatch. So let's create a new function here called auto balance with no parameters. And auto balance is a pretty simple concept. It's to compare the number of players on one team to the number of players on the other team. Whichever team has the least amount of players will get the joining player or the new player. So we can replicate this by getting a table count of the keys in table team get players for the red team, which is represented by zero. Your call from shared.lua. Zero is red, one's blue. Okay. And then we're going to compare the amount of players on the red team, which is what this is. And we're going to say if that's greater, oops, if that's greater, too much of a copy there, than the amount of players on the blue team, then, then we're going to do an else if. And we're going to do an end right here. So, so in the case that red has more than blue, we're going to want to return a value of 1 because we want to give a player to the blue team. So elsewise, or else if, we have the opposite case, that there are less players on the red team, then we will give a player to the red team instead of the blue team. Now, what about the case in which they're equal? So we can just put an else. We don't really have to define that, but you can if you want. Well, let's look at something else then to balance the teams. A good way to do that is to take the kill-death ratio, or take an average of the entire team's kill-death ratio. And we can do that by defining some local variables real quick. So we'll say red average KDR. Whoops. KDR, not RDK. And then we will have the same for blue. And also we are going to need a couple of loops. So we're following a very similar concept, if you can tell, where we have some stuff to find. So it's done a round check yet. We have some stuff, then we're following with loops, taking some counts and getting some information. So that's pretty much the concept we're going for right here. So we have a simple 4KV loop and pairs, and we are looking at team get players. So this table right here, and we're gonna start with red and then we're going to do the following. So we're going to say that the red average KDR, actually, you know what, is equal to, I'll just copy and paste and make it faster, that plus, then we're going to say V, which is the current player that we're looking at, and we're going to take that player's frags and then divide it by their depths. So we get a KDR right here. And that's not going to be the complete average. So what we also have to do is say that that is equal to red divided by then table count. And then we're going to be taking this table. So essentially what's going on here for those confused is we're getting a sum of all the KDRs of every player on the team with this loop. And then we're dividing it by the total amount of players on the team. And that's going to give us a average for the entire team for their KDR. Now we're going to be doing the same thing for blue. So all we really have to do is copy and paste, change this 0 to 1 to 0 to 1. And then we'll be taking red average KDR and replacing that with blue. And that will be just fine as is. Now, a good way for us to check and counsel at this point to make sure this KDR stuff is working just fine is we can say an auto balance notice in council and we'll say that red KDR and then we'll concatenate a value which is red average KDR all right and then we will do this for blue KDR so we'll put a little line right here put blue and then Lastly, we'll put blue's average KDR right here as well. Okay, so now we have all the information we need. It's printed in the council. Now let's just do the comparisons just like above. And in fact, pretty much do a copy and paste of this 
because it's going to be the same format. So right here, we're going to have a last else statement on top of all this. So all we're really doing is changing this to red average KDR. And likewise, we're changing this to the blue variant. So we'll put blue and blue. And likewise, okay, so it's the same thing, right? So we have red on the left, blue on the right, red on the left, blue on the right. So we're going to be returning one when red has a greater KDR. And we're going to be returning zero when blue has a greater KDR. Now, elsewise, if they're still equal, one last resort that you can do is to simply return math random zero one. All right, so, and that's going to just put it on a random team and hope for the best at that point. Unless you want to do more checks, you can do that, but that's up to you. So now how do we implement this? Well, since we're returning what team the player is going to be on, we can utilize this with the function that we made in team setup Lua, which is setup team. And that's to say if we put a zero here, it's going to set us up to the red team. It's if it's a one, it's going to set up sub to blue team. So let's go into init and we'll find that, which it's right here. And now instead of this math random, which was the previous method of picking a team, now we have auto balance and we can call it just like that. So now that everything is done, let's go take a look in game and see how this all goes. All right, so we are now in server. And there is mild error, just forgot to initialize these to an integer, which is a silly mistake, but not too bad. So anyway, after fixing that and initializing those values, now we can go in here and let's add in two bots to check out this auto balance. So right now we have a one versus one. So I should have the highest KDR right now at the moment. However, it didn't need to get that far. So now it's pitting these two against me. And the other two, well now, okay, now it's pitting me and another bot against this bot. And the reason why is because it highly depends on the order. Because remember, we were looking at KDR, so you'd think, okay, well, you have the highest KDR, why isn't it always going to be you versus two bots? Well, if I was analyzed first, like in this case right here, like I'm on the red team, so I got looked at or the bot got looked at first, and then it got sent to an average here, and then it considered me and sent me here, and we got the average. Now, after that, um, but before I got assigned to the red team, the bot got assigned to the blue team, so it compared the two bots killed KDRs for assigning me, so it just randomly assigned me last to the other team, which is why I was on a team with another bot instead of two bots against me. So if you want to fix that, you can spec like work on those things to make this auto balance even better. Like this is just a basic framework for you guys to work with. It's not like something in depth that you can go make a trillion dollars on, you know, but it's good enough to get what you need to do done. So let's look at some more extreme cases though. So we'll take five bots instead of these three right here and we'll go kill this blue bot. Now it should be a two versus three. All right, which it is. So I'll get to take out these red real quick. And let's add three more bots. All right, so now we have eight in here. So just go kill those two. Me adding bots while the round was changing probably messed up that auto balance. But anyway, now we have a four versus four, which is good. Oh, don't you love the sound of level ups and progress and all that? Isn't that great? So now we have an in interesting scenario, which is going to be a um, five versus three. Now, if we look into here to debug, the KDR was considered multiple times. However, the KDR was nan and nan, which means I wasn't considered against the last minute. So that's just another issue of considering a, uh, or perhaps even reordering this table and then analyzing it and getting the KDR would be the best solution to fix that. So just to keep you guys aware of that. 
So um, anyway, let's add another bot. We'll have nine here, and we'll go take out these blues, and then this will be the last test. And it'll show you it should be a five versus four. There we go, we have a five versus four. So you see in most cases that it does actually balance right. But anyway, if you have more questions or comments or whatnot, uh, please feel free to leave so in the comments below. And until then, I'll catch you in the next video.